This is how to connect a VGA device to the Sony KVHR32 or the bigger 36 inch version. In this case, we'll start with the Dreamcast. For the Dreamcast, I have its official Sega Dreamcast VGA box. Now from there, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna use a VGA cable that goes into B and C. These are fairly common cables, readily available, not that expensive. I'd simply hook it in. Uh, the cable's got a male end, the Dreamcast ends female. You could also connect sound via the headphone jack there if you wish to. Now we're not quite ready to plug into the TVs. Obviously the BNC won't connect to the TV because there's no BNC receptacles on it. What we need to use are these adapter pieces. There's five, one for red, green, blue, horizontal and vertical sync. They simply have a BNC female end that plugs in like so and converts it to RCA. So there's no signal conversion as such. It's simply, simply a plug adapter, a shape adapter that we can plug into the back of the television. We have all RCA to BNC adapters plugged into the cable, so the video side of things are ready to be plugged into the television. For sound, I have this cable with a headphone jack, stereo, plugged there, TRS, that goes to two RCA. So we'll simply plug the headphone jack end into the Dreamcast VGA box to transfer the sound out and go into the television. PCs really the same as the Dreamcast in the setup from a connection point of view. There's the VGA out port on the laptop. Plug the VGA cable in. The sound, same deal. Go to the other side of the PC. It's got its headphone port. And we can plug that now into the Sony KVHR televisions. Finally, the Xbox 360 to go VGA with it. You need a VGA cable. This is the official Microsoft VGA cable. It's already got the sound sort of side of things sorted out. We can plug that directly into the television as is. But for its VGA picture side of things, it has a male plug there, whereas my VGA to BNC is also male. So in this case, I have to use a gender changer gender bender, we'll give it a sex change, we'll remove the penis, go for vagina instead. And then we're right, plug that together, and we can then connect it up. Connect it up to the H K V H R televisions. Let's do that now. Let's start seeing some VGA on the television. Now that we're ready to connect up via VGA, this will be the Dreamcast, but applicable to all those systems aforementioned. This cable's already color coordinated, so we put the green in, put the blue in, put the red in. And we can also put the sound in, stereo sound, red and white. And that leaves us with our sinks. These wires are color coordinated as well as the inputs but they are opposite to one another if you have troubles with image if you have a double the image come up on the screen you've probably got your sinks around the wrong way so i'm going to put the black into the white and the white into the black and that means we are now ready to view the dreamcast on the television in vga now that we're running vga via the component sockets the graphics look so much better in VGA compared to S Video. It is night and day difference. It's an amazing difference in the quality of the visuals now. While we're here, here is the laptop hooked up. Windows 10 laptop with a widescreen resolution running right now. But the sides are still cut off and so is the bottom and the top. This may be a job for the service menu. Xbox 360 in VGA, 640 by 480. 
We'll go through the list. We'll see what happens. The widescreen one works. We should put the TV into widescreen to accommodate that, but we'll just keep going through them. Now that one appears to be a bit cut off to the sides, the 10, uh, 1024 by 768. Let's go up. Okay, that one's a bit cut off to the side as well. It'll certainly have a go, won't it? I wonder if we could go into the service menu and try and play around with things. That one doesn't work, obviously. So there's one that doesn't. Let's go for another. Well, that one seems to, to fit things in. I oh, know it doesn't display is cut off in the top left corner. Nope. Come on, restore yourself. How many more have we got? Oh, a couple more. Nope. And then 1080p, which I certainly don't think will do that. That's beyond expectations to full 1080p. But as you can see, it can cover a fair amount of ground, although let's go back to 640. Yeah, see, everything's in screen when we do that. Same with that one. Let's go back to that 7.12.80. No, see, it's a bit cut off. Let's just try that, that one there, that widescreen VGA. Not zoom, but full. Let's see how we go with some of these high resolutions with widescreen activated. Let's see if there's any difference. No, it's still cut off. Still cut off. Okay. Little bit of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the 360 in the BGA.